Good afternoon. My name is Yolanda Carcana. I am the Interim Director of Career Services at Elizabeth City State University. So today I'm going to be sharing some information regarding the Career Development Center, um, why we're here, and how we assist in helping students prepare for the future. So career development, start preparing for your future today. It's not too early, even though you may be a freshman, it's about planning. So that way you will have all the tools that you need in order to be able to be career ready once you graduate from Elizabeth City State University. So what we'll do right now is kind of just go over the Career Development Center and just some of the offerings from the system. So the, the Career Development Center is here to assist students and prepare them so that way they are career ready. Some of the services that are offered, um, students actually get assistance with resume writing, um, applying for jobs, internships, as well as if you are um, deciding to go to graduate school, you'll get the help that you need with uh, completing your application process and going through to see whether or not there are any um, additional exams that you may need to take in preparation for that as well. To go in depth, there are some services that I kind of wanted to highlight in terms of um, things that you can actually have as you um, come through the Career Development Center. So career counseling, sometimes you may come in thinking that you want to major in um, a certain subject, but maybe you don't know all the different um, services or fields that you can kind of feel throughout that major. So you can come in and kind of have a conversation about, you know, some of your strengths and how you see yourself fitting into that field. Networking. So this is going to be great as well because you'll notice that um, it's gonna be great to kind of build that network. So once you're trying to look for a job, you'll kind of have some of those connections in the field and you'll have some resources in that area. And there are several different um, opportunities to network as well. So um, the Career Development Center actually sponsors a couple of trips each year. And that's a great way for you to connect with industry executives and hiring managers. So that way you'll know some of the offerings in terms of internships, employment, scholarships, you'll be privy to that information just by attending these sessions. We also talked about the importance of internships as well. So we'll get into that a little bit later, but information is always being distributed um, through different mediums. And you've probably received some of those by now as well. Some other initiatives that you can expect um, sponsored by the Career Development Center would be um, recruitment initiatives. So periodically we have different organizations um, pre-COVID actually come to campus and kind of share information with different departments. So sometimes it's not really a full out fair, it may be one organization or two, and they may be in the lobby of that school and just kind of sharing information with students as well. In addition to that, some of the big grand scale events that we have would be the fall and the spring um, career fairs. So with that, it's a mix of um, graduate schools, employers, nonprofit organizations. So there's a really good mix. And that's an opportunity for students to kind of show case themselves, you know, being prepared with your resume and actually having that opportunity to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with employers at the career fair. Some of the other sessions that are provided would be interview prep. So that way, whenever you have opportunities to network or go on to a job fair or actually interviewing for a job or an internship, you kind of have those skills that you need in order to perfect it and just be comfortable and making sure that you are presenting yourself in the best possible way. We kind of talked a little bit earlier about graduate and professional school counseling. So if you are thinking about it, we can have a conversation about the benefits of attending graduate school, maybe right after um, completing your undergraduate degree and starting early. So that way, if there are any scholarship opportunities or fellowship programs, you can kind of take advantage of those as well. Some additional resources that we have that are kind of self-motivated would be Handshake. So um, with Handshake, it's like the student version of Indeed. So what you would do is create a profile, you would upload your resume, and from there you'd be able to search for jobs and internships. And the good thing about Handshake is it is national and international. So once your profile is complete, once you go in, um, it will give you access to different events, 
different organizations normally put on webinars or workshops um, and telling internship opportunities or employment opportunities. And they kind of give you insight in terms of um, how to apply, when to apply, and just best practices in order to get through the interview process. So once you have your, um, your account in Handshake, that would definitely be a tool that you can access either you know, via your computer or you can have the app. And once it is complete, once you go in, they'll normally have like suggestions, things that um, they think that you would be interested in, in terms of internships or employment opportunities. And the good thing about Handshake is they have this um, really cool, easy apply green button. And with that one, once your uh, resume is uploaded, all you simply have to do is click on that easy apply button and it'll go directly to the organization. So that's good as well. Another tool that um, we've recently launched is LinkedIn Learning. So with this one, it's, um, of course, if you've heard of LinkedIn, it's an opportunity for you to um, connect with organizations and um, you can actually look for jobs on Indeed, um, I mean, on LinkedIn as well. Um, another tool that you can actually use is CareerSpot. So with this one, it's a, a video, um, a video media professional development. And you know, if you're looking, what is professional dress? They'll have information and specific examples on what you should wear for an interview. If you're about to start applying for jobs, they'll have information on navigating and searching. Um, they also have information and tools regarding like salary negotiation. So all of the videos are really short. They're five minutes or less, and they're well produced and. Um, you get insight from some um, Fortune 500 companies as well. So that is definitely a great tool that you can use um, as an individual, okay? So another thing that you should be aware of, there are certain um, organizations that we have a great relationship with, with the university. And I'll start off with En-ROADS. So En-ROADS um, is an organization that um, employs students in terms of internships. So the way that En-ROADS work, this is actually one that you can apply um, for as a freshman. So make sure that you are having a really good semester because this one requires that you have at least a 3.0 GPA. So with that, you would complete the application process. And with En-ROADS, they would connect you with um, an organization, preferably um, in your home city or if um, there's another city that you like to be placed, um, you can put that in the system as well and they will match you. Um, the one thing is En-ROADS, um, it's a paid internship, but they do not provide housing. That's why they normally like to connect students um, with opportunities within their hometown. But that's something to think about that you can apply for as a freshman. Um, some of the other organizations that we have good relationships with would be the, the Department of Transportation, North Carolina Department of Transportation. So um, they normally have internships and scholarship opportunities as well. Another organization that um, we work with would be the State Employers Credit Union. So they have a fellowship program and um, for the last couple of years we were granted a $100,000 grant and with that 20 students are able to intern. Um, you have to be a North Carolina resident and you have to intern in the state of North Carolina. The students were actually paid $13 an hour and um, that was a great opportunity for students. So with that one um, it can be if you're taking the internship course or if you are just looking to glean some more experience that you can uh, put on your resume. That's something to look forward to. It's open to rising juniors and seniors, but if all of the slots aren't taken, then uh, maybe a sophomore can kind of pick up one of those as well. Um, another organization um, that you should kind of have on your radar will be Thurgood Marshall College um, fund scholarships, so TMCF. So with them, um, they also provide, they're the big umbrella. And most corporations come under TMCF and they offer internships and scholarship opportunities for a wide variety of student majors. So that's something that you can just go on and kind of peruse on your own, tmcf.org. They also every year provide a leadership institute and that's normally in October. And we normally have at least um, four or five students who participate in that one as well. So with that one, they get um, 
professional development. And at the end of the conference, students actually have um, a really big job fair. And normally students are offered either employment or internship opportunities right on the spot. So that's something to kind of keep on the radar as well. And of course with TMCF, um, it's gonna be important that you kind of have that GPA um, at least a 3.2 in order to be considered. Um, another organization uh, that provides professional development is the HBCU Career Development Marketplace. And they have a conference every year in October, and this is something that you can apply for too. It's gonna be virtual this year. Um, but normally, this is in Baltimore, Maryland, and um, we take a, a group of students to this um, as well. So once again, students have workshops and seminars that they attend during the day. And at the end of the conference, there is a really big job fair in order for you to connect with organizations, businesses. And that's really where you kind of start some of that networking um, and kind of building that portfolio as well. In addition, we have a great um, relationship with the North Carolina Governor's Scholarship Program. And for that one, they offer um, internship opportunities with Fortune 500 companies to North Carolina residents. So that's something to look for as well. So um, there's normally a lot of messaging that goes out. And there are a couple of ways that I send it. So that way you'll be able to see how do I get in contact with um, applying for internships and scholarships. So what you would do is um, messaging kind of comes out through the Career Development Center's email address, and that is in the form of student list moderator. Another uh, medium that we use is E4U. So with E4U, if you get something through that medium, it is because it's specifically for you, you qualify for that one. Um, and another way that we use it is in Volvio. So um, I think most students should have um, downloaded the Vikings Engage Volvio app and make sure that you connect to the Career Development Center. Another way that you can stay connected as well is make plans to attend the Professional Development Workshop Series. So those sessions are held on the first and the third Tuesday of every month. And those sessions are normally during 3.30 breaks, so from 3.30 to 4.30. And they're virtual, so all you have to do is click on the Zoom link in order to be a part of that session. Career development can actually be fun. Okay, so if you take a look at the collage, you'll see some pictures from the career fair. Um, another program that we participated in was Food Lion Scholars. And with that, students were able to travel to corporate headquarters of Food Lion. They were able to connect with the HR recruiting managers who took a look at their resume. They got feedback and they were also able to take professional headshots as well. Another photo is from the HBCU Career Development Marketplace Conference that took place in um, Baltimore, Maryland. We had a group of students to travel for that as well. Um, last year was the first Career and Leadership Conference. So we had um, a weekend of events. We had a panel of experts from FedEx, Google, um, a Thurgood Marshall Scholar, and um, a representative from Elizabeth City State University. That was a great opportunity as well. And at the end, um, there was also an etiquette course where students um, had a, a lesson on etiquette, dining etiquette, and dinner was actually provided as well. So that way students were able to tap into the skills that they learned during that workshop. Students also attended the CIAA Career Fair in Charlotte, North Carolina. That was a great opportunity for students to connect and meet with um, businesses and organizations as well and kind of get their um, connection and network um, in terms of internships and jobs. Another program that is sponsored through the Career Development Center is the HCAS, so Honda Campus All-Star Challenge. And so it's, it's kind of like Jeopardy. So the college version of Jeopardy. So look for messaging on that. You can join the quiz bowl team. And um, as you can see, we were, we were able to travel to the competition we qualified and we made it to the finals um, in California. So we ended up going to Torrance, California for that as well. So that was a general overview 
regarding the Career Development Center, some of the services that are provided, and I also wanted to provide contact information as well. So once again, my name is Yolanda Carcana. I am the Interim Director of Career Services at Elizabeth City State University. Um, location, we are in Griffin Hall, Suite 500, Room 505. My email address is yscarcana, y s c a r c a n a at ecsu.edu, and I can be reached by telephone as well, 252-335-3318. So feel free to give me a call if you need some help with your resume, or if you have any questions about the information that was shared in this forum today. Thank you so very much and have a great day.